Established in 2000, Maple Tree is today a leading real estate development, investment, and capital management company headquartered in Singapore. In its earlier years, Maple Tree's portfolio was characterized by aging, low yielding property assets and undeveloped land. The turning point occurred in 2003 under the solid leadership of its group chief executive officer, Mr. Hugh Yun Kong. The company embarked on an aggressive growth strategy. Mr. Hugh's vision was to transform Maple Tree into a real estate capital management business. With this in mind, he established a business model that integrated the roles of developer, investor, and capital manager. The big challenge was really the definition of the business model. I was very convinced that the right business model was a combination of uh, real estate as well as the capital management model. So we set about defining that business model and then we spent a lot of uh, time and communication session with the team to try and get everybody to understand what that business model does and what are the characteristics that we wanted to extract from the business model. In the early 2000s, demand was growing from both institutional and retail investors in the region for real estate investment products like real estate investment trusts, also known as REITs, private real estate funds and mortgage-backed securities. With Mr. Hugh at the helm, Maple Tree sought to be at the forefront of establishing REITs and private funds. Many of the developments that Maple Tree has transformed into high-quality assets with strong yields have been placed in the listed REITs under its established capital management business, which today includes six private real estate funds and four REITs. We are in the, the rate of return that we have targeted, that is, you know, more than 10%. But that's not to say that we can't improve on it. In fact, I think in our current five-year plan, we are hoping to, to maintain a high level of profitability and achieve yet even more sustainability and stability in, in our results. Ten years ago, in 2005, we listed the first Maple Tree Trust, the first logistic REIT in Singapore. The demand was overwhelming. We see for the first time oversubscription of more than 40 times and a demand of $10 billion. With its overseas presence established through MLT, the company continued to build its presence and developed an overseas strategy to invest in markets and real estate sectors with good growth potential, not just in Asia, but globally. Uh, we have we've been involved in the sale of Festival Walk in Hong Kong, uh, the JTC Industrial Portfolio in Singapore, the Beijing Gateway Building, and most recently the Global Service Department Business of Oakwood. His vision for Maple Tree is so strong that he can see where the gaps are in the business. Back in 1998, we talked about REITs in Singapore together and uh, because there was no REIT market in place. So he was sort of four years ahead of anyone else that was thinking about REITs. So, you know, that's how I always sort of think of Hugh, that he has a series of five-year plans, but he's already at the uh, beginning of one when one ends. Um, so he just stays ahead of the curve. He has great vision and he sees where the gaps are in the business. You know, one thing that has not changed is his emphasis on returns of each investment decision that the group makes and the thoroughness involved in the process of each decision that he makes. Hugh is really well respected because of this investment rigor and his sure discipline to execute strategies and achieve targets. And I would say he's largely responsible for helping develop the local REIT industry. Recognizing that it needs to groom a strong talent pool and build capabilities in capital management and real estate skills such as development, Maple Tree pays much attention to training its staff. The emphasis in terms of training and the emphasis in terms of uh, personal development is very important to him. Despite his very busy schedules today, he has also set aside specific times to have these coaching sessions. And I think it's through this face-to-face -face kind of interaction that this, uh, the next generation of the Maple Tree staff can learn what the principles and what a kind of uh, model that the whole business of Maple Tree is all about. In the 10 years since Mr. Hugh became Group CEO, Maple Tree's returns, earnings and scale have soared. For the financial year ending in 2014, net asset value was $8.53 billion, almost four times the $2.2 billion recorded a decade ago. Profit after tax and minority interest rose to close to $860 million, compared with the net loss of $211 million a decade ago. The value of Maple Tree's total owned and managed assets has grown to $24.6 billion as at 31st March 2014, more than 10 times the $2.35 billion it held back in 2003. 
He inspires his people, caring, giving them the confidence to perform as he sets challenging and stretch targets to achieve strong and sustainable returns to our investors and shareholders. He has successfully grown the company with a strong Asian presence with asset size of over $25 billion. As he creates wealth for the company, he's very much behind Maple Tree corporate social responsibility culture, especially in the area of education. He believes in providing opportunities to underprivileged students to give them a better future. With Mr. Hugh's commitment to grow the company, together with a disciplined and sustainable business strategy, Maple Tree will continue to grow and strengthen going forward.